All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over our lineup build and construction for the LCK slate for tonight, uh, 2 a.m. start time. And this video is going to go up just at lock. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you the process to get to our portfolio and see how it works. So first thing we're doing is we're, up, we're building our just pool of 5,000 lineups. Uh, using our customized projections. Now we're not going to really have 5,000 lineups in a two-game slate, um, but it gives us just kind of something sort of to work with. So before we even look at anything, you know, I imagine that your initial build is going to get you nothing but 100% uh, uh, Fear X and, uh, and Gen G, just because they one's a three and a half to one favorite, the other is like a three to one favorite, and they're just going to project just so much better than the rest. So like when you look at it, you know, you look at team stacks and you're going to see a hundred percent Gen X and Gen G and a hundred percent fear X. But, but while you can play this in the triumphant warrior to be able to play this, that combination in the shot blast on a two game slate, especially if you're going to run straight four threes, you're, you're just asking for trouble because they're just going to be duped so many times. The only the only way you can get away with it is in some you have some weird four or threes with like someone in the captain support and team for one team, and then somebody in the other four spots for the other team. And we we could talk about that. Um, the next thing you'll look at is if you want to rate the top thirty five, uh, you would only be getting four actually. Hold on. We would not only be getting four threes. This is based on a rule that I had set before. So we're going to, I want to build this again. Um, let's, because what I did was I set it to 100% four threes. And I don't want to do that. Um, I want to let it, I want to let it run first without any restrictions. And then we'll just kind of see what it looks like. So we're going to run this again. And uh, I'll pause this and I'll come back when this is done. It should be a minute or so my time, but there's no reason to make you guys sit through this. Actually, you know what? Let, let's talk through some of the, some of the concepts here. So we're going to be playing the shot blast and we're playing only 35 entries because 35 is the max that you can play. And it puts us at a good advantage here because usually we still only play 35, 40 entries, but we're sometimes facing, you know, 150s or 57s or whatever. Now, at least we're on the same, same, uh, you know, playing field as those guys are. So if they want to go ahead and build like these, these no chance stacks, you know, uh, that's fine by me. It just, it'll, it'll, it'll take away some of the better combinations uh, from their portfolios. Um, so I guess on a slate where everybody's limited to 35, maybe you shouldn't get that off the wall. You know, maybe, maybe you don't need to play a bunch of four twos with the, you know, one off in the ADC or something like that, because it's not as if everybody has that many entries. All right. So let's, again, let's take a look at this. Um, I imagine that, you know, likewise, it's going to show, Again, all Gen G and Fox, which is correct. And then only two of four twos. Okay. So there are plenty of combinations of four threes that work, but uh again, they're all going to be very, very chalky. But just for fun, let let's run a sim and see if we can't. Well, let's 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 run both of these sims here. So contest sim settings, shock blast. We already put the information in. Uh, 1176 entries um, and we're going to use build three that's the Linus we just made as the as the default field and then save here and let's run the sims and this just kind of gets us started in the process I want to just see what our default exposures would be um, okay so let's uh, first take a look at the shock blast and we should always start by uh which call it by giving ourselves a chance um uh so when we do min uniques two then it decreases the amount of fox genji you know from 100 to 85 um 
And that that's fine, I guess. But the problem with doing it this way, like we do Min Uniques 3, for example, yes, you do expose yourself to some of the, you know, some of the lower owned stacks, but you still get those top ones, which are going to be just so mega duped. So that's why you can't really just, just run it this way um, on a two game slate like this. Um, so what you can do though, is you can try to minimize the dupes by doing geo mean filtering. Okay. And we're going to get to that in a second. Let's take a look. So there's 1176 entrance. All right. Let's, let's see what that translates to as far as geo mean. I should know this by heart by now. I think we're going to need an, a 19, but let's just take a look. Uh, let's pull this up. 1176. Hold on. Where's my spreadsheet? Okay. Yep. There it is. I had it already. Um, so for a max one dupe, it would be, well, 30.77. But if you really want to go for the throw, it would be 20.9. But the very most, so somewhere between 20 and 30, um, 20.37 is probably going to be what you're going to need to do here. So let's go back here and let's see um, if we do that less than 20.79. What kind of lineups we get here? Boom, save filter. And so we're getting some, right? Um, plenty, plenty of these to do. But what's going to end up happening, and listen, this is this is fine, is you're just not gonna get any lineups with 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 Gen G and Fox. Right? It's just not gonna work. And 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 that's fine with me, you know, and, and that's fine because if you think about it, those are gonna be so popular. And remember, for those to get there, they both have to win. So remember, the chances of, of them both winning, it's not as, as good as you think. So if one of them is what? So one is a three to one. So what's there? 75% chance to win. And the other's a little better. So 75.7 times 77. So the the chances of both teams win is about uh, 75% times uh, point. 0.77, for example, oops. So the chance of them both winning are only 57%, okay? So almost half the time, not really, but 47% of the time or whatever, something except for those two winning is going to happen. Um, and considering how much owned those combinations are going to be, um, you're probably supposed to fade them all anyway. And, and you saw how easy it was to build all those four threes with Gen G and, and Fox. That means that they're just going to get jammed. So with all those dupes, you're getting such leverage by not playing any Gen G Fear X lineups in the Shock Blast. So we're going to probably just go with this. Um, do I need to go Min Uniques 2? It's probably not the worst idea in the world. But just to kind of show you what we're getting here. Um, so what, what, let, let's first look at stack exposure, all four threes. Let's look and make sure we don't have any team in the captain or anything like that. Because uh, we, we that got us once uh, last week. Uh, no, no, all normal guys. But then just so you know, I mean, let's take a look. So in the four mans, you'll have a little bit of four man everybody. A little Fox and Genji and and Gen, and and DRX and T1. But like, for example, if you look at the, the Fox four mans, you're only getting, and then we'll look at the threes. You're, you're actually are getting three. No, you're getting zero. You're only getting T1s with Fox. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let's get this, let's get this. And then with, with, with Gen G four mans, look through this, then you're only getting DRXs. Right? And that's just that, that's just the way it's going to be. Okay. Um which is which is all honestly fine. Okay. Now why did this go to eleven? It shouldn't be just eleven here, right? Hmm. 
did we hold on let's 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 take care of this for a second there you go there's your 35 again all right so let's just throw these in uh to the shock blast and that should be our 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 situation so if you know what to want to know what to root for you really wait to see what happens in the first game like if fox wins you're rooting for t1 if drx wins you're rooting for gen g and that's it we're not gonna have any double dogs um they just don't project to to get there often enough so uh let's uh save these and we should be good with the shock blast now with the triumphant warrior it's a little trickier i shouldn't say a little trickier i guess it is a little trickier because you start off with with some with with the sims and you're going to get some very very you know normal normal lineups here okay um almost all of them are going to be gen g and fox all right so we're gonna to have to figure out which of these have the best chance to win but also don't are unlikely to be duped okay so again because you're only going to have like 11 16 people in this thing if you get duped by two people, that's that's just death. So let's just take a look. So here, this one has a 620-point projection. I want to just, just analyze these things. And this looks like a very normal type of stack, right? You're your four fear X's, but not in the in the in the team position. And Gen G is always really, really strong at getting that slow win. <laughs> so, so they're very likely to be in that team position. And then the let's see, the Risk adjusted ROI was what? Uh 393. Projected score 620. So we really can't play that one. This one is also 620. So this is very similar, but this one looks a little funkier, right? It's got two Gen G's. It's got a three-man uh Gen G stack, which I kind of alluded to earlier but just Chovy and Ken and then Genji here and then the other four Foxes. Um, and this one projects exactly the same, but it looks a little funkier. So I think that's got a, a less of a chance of being duped. And this one looks very similar to the first one, uh, except this is, again, a little bit lower projected. And this one looks very similar to the first one, just these very, very standard four man Fox, you know, fear X, uh, lineups. So I think what we have to do is one of these kind of funny looking ones. And this one, we get down to number seven. Uh, this, this one I don't like because it's full 50,000 salary. So I think people might, if they're inclined, might want to do that. So I think we're going to go with this one. Uh, the, the, it projects just as well as the others. And it just looks a little weirder. So I think this is the one we're going to go with. So we're going to go with Chovy and the captain, with King, with Keen, Genji in the in the team, and then these other guys over here. So let's um, how do we actually do that? Let's get rid of this one, put that one into the garbage. We'll put uh, this one. Oh, this is the one we're going to use, right? I think that's the one we have saved already, by the way. But let's 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 go ahead and do that. Save this one to Triumphant Warrior. Boom. And then we will download these, upload them, and then we will be in business. So basically, what we're rooting for again in in the in the shock blast. Whoever, you know, there's one favorite, one underdog, and hope we get the right combinations. And in the Triumphal Warrior, we are doing Gen G with 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 Fear X, but we have that kind of weird construction. And that's gonna do it. Uh hope I wake up to some good scores. And uh that's it. Good luck, everybody.